guys, it's Joel and welcome back to the channel and once more to my Porsche KN. Now you'll probably know by now that I bought this car a couple of months ago specifically to use as my daily car during the winter. Now some of you might laugh at that because I know you're from countries which are far more exotic and have far more extreme weather during the winter. Although, having said that, today does demonstrate at least that it can be very windy and very unpleasant. And during conditions like this, whether it's snowy on the ground or not, you want to be in a big 4x4, or at least that's how I feel. And so here we are with the KN. It's been doing a fantastic job, as you know, and I really genuinely have been enjoying using it. However, there is one thing missing. There's one thing in particular I would planned to do with this car from the very day that I bought it. Something I've never done to a car before, but I have plans for this one. And so this is a real necessary move. And that is, of course, going on to winter tires. Now, it might not sound like much of a big deal, and I know that many of us in the UK don't seem to bother, but I want to take this car into Europe, and some of the places I'm going do require you to be on winter or at least all season tires until the end of March, if there's any chance of snow or ice or conditions like that prevailing on the ground. And so for me, it's no option really. We have to go onto some proper winter tires. So winter tires are designed to make your car safer in adverse conditions such as snow or ice. Although in the south of England these days, we rarely see that anyway. But like I say, for me, I'm planning on taking this thing into Europe where I definitely am expecting to see adverse conditions such as that. However, what most people don't realize is that it doesn't just need to be snowy, icy or wintry to justify the use of winter or all season tires. In fact, if the temperature is anywhere around or below seven degrees Celsius, or even if it's just very wet on the ground, which it is very often in this country, then they can make a lot of sense too. They're supposed to reduce your braking distance, improve handling, reduce the chances of aquaplaning, which in my old age is something I'm becoming far more interested in. And like I say, in some European countries, which is applicable to me, they are a requirement during the winter months. I'm literally about to blow away, so let's jump in the car and escape this horrible weather. Oh, goodness me. Well, I think it's definitely getting worse out there, so this is a good choice. So, choosing winter tyres, especially if you're like me and you've, you've never done it before, uh, can be quite daunting actually, quite confusing. And so today, happily, I've partnered up with eBay to make this process much more straightforward. You can now purchase tires from eBay, which opens up a really wide range of options because you're not just limited to that one high street tire place that you might be ordering them from ordinarily. And when you do order tires through eBay, you can also book in the installation process at the same time. So this is why I decided to get a second set of wheels for the cars, not only to try and improve the ride quality with these 18 inches, but so that I could retain my 20 inch wheels with summer tires on for the summer, just making it a really easy swap between the two. And so after spending some time researching and browsing eBay for the right tires, I realized that what I wanted were some all seasons. Now, the reason mainly for that is because as you can see, when it's actually 12 or 13 degrees in the UK, even now in February. And so most of the time in the UK, actually I'm not gonna need full winters. However, I did say that you do need those to go into certain places of Europe around this time of year. However, if you find some all seasons with the M&S snow rating on them, then for where I'm going for 99% of the places, they're also gonna suffice. So I opted for Michelin Cross Climate 2 SUV tires, which are exactly this. They're all season tires, they're cross climate, but they have that all important snow rating. That means I can drive this car in Europe in adverse weather conditions, which I need. They're not actually N rated or Porsche certified, but the ones that are for this car are way out of date now. And after doing lots of research and reading the forums and other owners experiences, these are a really, really good choice. So let's head over to the fitment center now and get them put on. So when you order your tires through eBay and select fitment, you'll have access to over 3,000 installation locations nationwide. And for me, there was actually about five available that were within one mile of my house. So you choose your tires, you add installation, choose the garage that's convenient for you, and then you'll be contacted by the garage to make an appointment. The tire installation with eBay includes tire fitting, balancing, valve replacement, and disposal of your old tires should you wish. In my case, I actually kept the set that came on these 18s because, well, they still have loads of tread on them. So all in all, this was a super convenient process because it was no different to a normal tire fitment appointment, 
However, here I could benefit from the really wide range of selection on eBay. You'll benefit from the eBay money back guarantee and the tires will be fitted by certified garages and trusted partners such as the RAC, Asda, Black Circles, E-Tires, etc. So we've got the tires fitted onto the car and I have to say it feels absolutely fantastic. Having the 18 inch wheels on as opposed to the 20 inches already makes that ride a lot softer and then having a brand new fresh set of rubber all around is really just the icing on the cake. And what I'm pleased to report with these tires is that I don't seem to be losing too much dynamic capabilities or feel through them. They feel almost as good as equivalent summer tires. Now I'll be totally honest with you, my plan today was to take the car somewhere where it was snowing. Now listen, it's the first week of February, so you can't call me crazy for assuming that there might be somewhere within three or four hours of Buckinghamshire where snow is falling or there's ice on the ground. But no, for some reason this week, and this week specifically, when I get the tires fitted, it decides to be 15 Celsius across the entirety of the UK. I even looked at going to Scotland and Glencoe and one of my favorite places. I thought that'd be a great road trip in this car. Nope, nine degrees, even at a thousand feet. So you're gonna to have to just deal with my impressions here on this dry stuff today. But like I say, the reason we've got these tires is because we are gonna be going to Europe. So you're gonna be seeing them getting some use there anyway. The other reason for switching over to the 18 inch wheels, which benefits the whole winter tire, all season tire thing, is that they're a bit narrower, which if you are in snowy conditions or icy conditions, you ideally want a narrower tire profile it just helps the car grip better. So yeah, doing away with the 20 inches for the winter is definitely helping in that element too. But I was a little bit worried that I was gonna be losing the feel of the car through these, but uh, I'm genuinely quite pleasantly surprised that it feels much the same. I feel like the KN is one of those cars that really just works in any environment. People do say it about L322 Range Rover. And yeah, I don't think there is a single video where I don't mention the L322 Range Rover. But yeah, you can drive this almost anywhere and it fits in. In fact, I took this yesterday. I was in Notting Hill, parked on the street. It looks fantastic. And in the countryside out here on the muddy track that I was filming on earlier, it looks great, especially on the smaller wheels. And I can imagine down in Europe on the continent in some crazier scenery, it's gonna look fabulous as well. It's just a wonderful all round car. And it is why I wanted one for the winter because I'm not completely losing out on that dynamic fun that my Audi TT has, for example, but you are gaining so, so much more in terms of capabilities off-road in certain conditions and just the cruising nature of this car is so wonderful. You can sit back, eat up the miles and just enjoy the view. With these new tyres, I've also noticed a bit of a noise reduction as well. I'm not sure if it was the fact that the tyres I was on before were about five years old. I'm not sure, but these are very, very quiet, actually. At motorway speeds, it's noticeable how much quieter these are than the previous tyres. Fuel economy, we're going to have to see if it makes a difference to that at all, whether it makes it worse, better, or just the same. But otherwise, everything is just brilliant. I also want to go out and say that this KN probably in a long time has been the most reliable car that I've owned. Despite what everyone says about these KNs being ruinous to own, I've literally had no indication of the sort. Okay, I've got this weird issue where the EML comes on every now and then, but it clears and I think it's to do with that catalytic converter being a little bit loose, which we're going to get sorted. And yesterday when I was driving the car, it randomly blew the horn and the wipers went twice at the same time. I didn't touch anything, it just did it. So maybe there's some sort of steering issue or something wrong with the steering wheel that will need replacing at some point. But other than that, and the very, very few minor things, I've just been bashing the miles out in this car and it, it's just, just taken it, been absolutely wonderful, but also it's been enjoyable doing those miles and that is the most important thing. It almost you know, makes the 20, 21 mile per gallon expensive fuel bills worth it because I just enjoy every mile I do in this car. And unlike previous cars I've owned, I'm not sort of sat here in anxiety and dripping in sweat, waiting for the next warning light to illuminate. 
I'm sorry I couldn't take you immediately onto some icy conditions and show off these tyres right away. But as I mentioned, there are plans for that coming very, very soon. The next thing you see with this KN will probably be down at ePorsche once more. We're going to get some of those issues fixed and then we'll be ready to take it on our winter adventure, even though it's going to be probably March by the time I do that. But that's besides the point. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you hopefully very, very soon in the next video. Bye bye. Remember to shop for your tyres at eBay UK. You can shop by tyre size and type, then get them fitted at one of over 3,000 locations.